I've just I'm pressing record. Right, I've pressed record. <laughs> okay. So doesn't matter if you're not ready. No. We're online. We're active. We are an active <laughs> shooter. I don't know why when you said active, it made me think of like STDs. Is that even a thing? Uh positive, not active. Sexually active, that's the word. <laughs> anyway, let's just <laughs> You wouldn't know anything about that, but let's skip that. Are they still drunk? Are they hungover? Sophie and Daniel, definitely not sober. You're listening to the Hangover You Don't Deserve podcast. Well, that was a good start. Hi, welcome to episode 33 of Hangover You Don't Deserve podcast. Uh, I'm Daniel. This is Sophie. Say hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. All right. Um, it, you're so much more chipper when we do these, like, on on Zoom and we're doing them in the evening and we've not had a drink last night and you're not hungover and it, you're, just, you're just in such a good mood and it's, it's I'm not used to it. It's like you're coming in hot right from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited, but that's just it. I'm not hungover, which you could you, say defeats the point of this podcast, but I'm here to tell you it does not for some reason. Well, because there's a fucking, you know situation it's it's like it's like you when you're not hungover is like four drink sophie so no, yes. normally it takes to like the middle of episode two or something for you to for you to get into that realm of being being in a good mood again yes yeah, so the guys will love this the guys guys will love it um so i don't know let's we, we've no night out to talk about what's what's your last we did this a week ago right so what's your week been like well as we said last time i'm essential highly essential um delivering poutine to the masses so i've been working every night um other than that though not much binge watching some fringe have you seen that show no uh, it's like a fbi kind of sort of sci-fi ish i guess oh, hey, all show. Right. yeah you, you, you won't like it but um so it's been trying to get me to watch it for like three years since like we first met and I've been like, no, I don't like that word. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like what? with your hair, like the name, of, you know, like the name of a film and you're like, oh, I don't think I like the sound of that just based on the title or a band. Yeah. Oh, totally. All the time. What, yeah. what is it? What is it about enjoying? And I don't know if this is the same for you, but it's the same for most people. It's just, you're not normal. So I never know if you do things mm-hmm. that other people do. What is it about enjoying a, a movie or, or a TV show where you're like, oh, I need to tell people, I need to make other oh, people yeah. watch this and enjoy it? What is that? It's, what like, you... the, it's like the opposite of um, that uh, indie band <clears throat> yeah, idea. Yeah. Of, yeah, like, of I like... can't tell anyone about this band, they're mine. Yeah, it's, it's totally the opposite of that. But then, then there's no good outcome to it because either the person you show doesn't love it as much as you did, probably because you hyped it up too much. Yeah, or, which is just always going to happen, really. Or they really love it, and like then they're annoying about it because they only just found <laughs> out about it. And you're like, shut up. Yeah, I know. I already know it's good. I told you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing, yeah. nothing, good, nothing good ever comes of sharing anything, right? The only, way, the only way to enjoy things, especially in a relationship, the only way to enjoy them is you have to discover them at the same time. That's it. Yes. That's correct. it. Otherwise, otherwise you know, you're not going to ruin it for yourself if you share it. You're not on the same wavelength enjoyment that's exactly it yeah um i i think last time we spoke i hadn't been out for a while and went about 18 days without leaving the house shit that's specific um, going ordering online started to get really really difficult so i had to go out um i didn't have a choice i had to go and you know i'd eaten all the food in the fridge and freezer and you know i mean i had to, i wouldn't i wouldn't have starved i had food in the cupboard but like you know yeah, like, like tins of like, beans and that. Yeah, like like living in a bunker food, you know. Like <laughs> I, I, I could have yeah. eaten, I could have survived on microwave rice and soup for a few more weeks. But who wants that? Yeah, I so, mean, I don't think anyone's suggesting that you have to live like that if you don't. No, want no, to. oh no, I know, I know that. I just, I just was actively not going out unless I absolutely had to because I was just like, you know, fuck this, well, yeah. <laughs> not worth, Being not worth the risk. Yeah, um, being a good citizen. Yeah. And <clears throat> by the way, if you can hear like little tip taps, it's low key running about. Sorry, but yeah, it, it sounded like you were typing on a keyboard, and I was like, "Wow, well, 
What are you looking at? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just doing my other job. There's, there's no distractions in the room, so you're just distracting yourself with Google or something. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just on my typewriter. <laughs> but as I, I, I didn't want to leave the house. And at, at the point where, like, I had to, I was like, oh, God, I don't want to... Dreading it. I don't fucking do this now. I don't want to see other people and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because, I feel like this has um, built up so many, so much anxiety for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah and be- because of that, I was like, right, I'm going to have to start just going outside every day, just, you know, walking around the block or something because I, mm. I can't. It's too weird. I mean, I it literally it had been it had been 30-odd days since I'd put on a pair of pants that <laughs> didn't have a stretchy waistband. Right. So I, I, and I still haven't worn jeans, but it's sunny here. So, you know, I put on some shorts Mm -hmm. and I put on a coat, like a jacket. And I was like, why does it feel so restrictive? I feel like something heavy is on me. (laughs) And I like, (laughs) oh yeah, it's clothes. Yeah. And like, I put, put my, put my shoes on, went outside, started walking. And I was like, I stood in something, something stuck to the bottom of my foot. There wasn't, it just felt so abnormal to be wearing (laughs) shoes. And I was like, this is, this is That's bad. I, can, I can't leave it this long. It's, a, a, I'm going to develop agoraphobia or something. So I was like, you know, I'm going to have to start going out every day. So I've just been out for, just walked. And it's, it's like a nice sunny day here. And once I got out, I was like, oh, right. Well, that's it. I'm never going back in my house ever again. <laughs> I just yeah. Walked. I just walked like three miles just round the streets. Just like, I'm never going home. Never, ever you going remember, home ever again. Remember how nice. Fresh air is. And that's mm. what um, Loki's like on every single walk. He's like, oh my God, I can't <laughs> believe I forgot about this. I'm yeah, never but, going back inside. But he's a dog and I'm a human being. <laughs> 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 I, do, I, I, like, I mean, I love Loki, but I want to be on a higher wavelength of, of intelligence than he is, really. That's, what, that's my pitch in life, is I want to aim for that, you know. I have to disagree. Um, anyway... I'm getting a little bit uncomfortable because I haven't actually opened a drink yet, so I'm going to do that now. Um, <laughs> Why are you opening there, Jesus? <laughs> well, I got this reduced when I went to buy my essential foods just a minute ago, and uh, it's just a single portion of Prosecco for two pounds, and there was some chocolates with it, so I thought I'm going to treat myself. <laughs> so you got yourself some kind of Valentine's Day meal deal. <laughs> <laughs> From the bargain bin. <laughs> so that's what I'm having. What are you drinking? Uh, I'm, well, right now I'm drinking Punk IPA, but this is my last can, and then I'm going to move on to Elvis Juice. Uh, I went to Tesco. That was the reason I had to go out is for the, fir- the first time. I went to Tesco, and I think, I'm hoping it's just during this, like, oh, wow, what the fuck was that? I expected you to have to pop a cork. What just? So did I, but it's just a plastic one. That sucks. Why do you feel they... quite so elegant now? Well, why, why have they fashioned a cork out of plastic to make it look like there's a cork? Why don't you just put a screw top on it? Oh, oh I'm, I'm annoyed by that already. You've, you've pissed me off now. <laughs> <laughs> Shut me down a bad path for this podcast. Um, I forgot to bring a glass in as well, so I'm just going to chug it. Oh, fuck Carry on. I don't know if it's just stock is different during this whole situation or if this is a new change but tesco don't do the 12 packs of punk ipa anymore they only had four packs that sucks and so you the, spend more money on it too yeah it's more, it's more expensive to to buy it but also um, there was only one four pack left yeah and it was like it was right at the back and you know like i'm actively trying not to touch things anywhere <laughs> yeah. and stuff and I had to like clamber to the, it was on the bottom shelf at the back, which is like four foot deep. And I had to like crawl in there. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen that family guy bit where Chris reaches into the back of the fridge and he gets pulled into the take on me video? Yes. That's what it was like. I was like, right, I'm never getting out of here. I'm going to have to crawl back into the shelf and just live at least the, be- at least there's beer here. Not, there's not beer in my house. Um, but yeah, it's just a weird environment right now, you know, trying not to touch stuff. I just went to, like, on this walk, stopped in a garage to get a drink. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was buying a can of Monster. And um, I did the thing that I always do. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, like, super hygienic. I'm not, like, a germaphobe or anything, but I'm quite conscious of, you know, other people being gross. So I always reach for, like, something a few rows back on the shelf rather than take the one at the front. Because, mm-hmm. you know, 
people fucking manhandle things all the time. So I'm like, right, I'm going to grab one from the back. And as I was doing it, <laughs> it occurred to me that someone had to put those cans there in the first place. So it's all... They've already been manhandled. Yeah, it's all well and good that I'm grabbing the one that's like four cans back and, and you know, Joe Bloggs hasn't picked it up and, and fucking touched it. But there's nothing to say the guy who works in the garage didn't, like, rub coronavirus all over his balls and then rub his balls on the can. Like, I, you don't know. You don't know. No, that you definitely don't. I, um, you know, who's to say in... I mean, this isn't really corona related, but in general, in the warehouse or whatever, someone didn't piss on it before they put it in. Right. The fucking, you know, drop it on the floor. I don't know. That's what I would do if I worked in a warehouse. So, of course. I'm to assume, I'm to assume that everyone else would. Who some, wouldn't, man? Some like minded individuals. <laughs> man, fucking hell. I don't get it. Um, I, I, haven't, <clears throat> I haven't done a lot of things. Like, I was thinking about how. There's so many things that you realize when you don't have to leave the house or interact with other people that you do just for the benefit of other people. I haven't been wearing deodorant because who would I wear deodorant for? It doesn't doesn't matter. You know, it's not like it's bad to not wear deodorant. It's bad to wear deodorant. So I'm like, right, well, you know, not going to do that. Don't need to. Like it's bad for you and the environment. Bad for you, like your skin, your pores, and yeah, the environment as well, I guess. I don't really care about that. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) I didn't mean that. I was um, a little bit. I mean, I recycle, so, you know, I'm fine. I'm in the clear. I'm going to go to heaven when I die, I assume, for that, you know. For that one thing, just negates all the bad stuff that you've done. That's the way they make you fucking sound. (laughs) That's the the way they act. (laughs) Um... I haven't, I haven't shaved in three weeks. Can you tell? <laughs> Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. I know. Me neither, know. but you definitely can tell. <laughs> yeah, you. I've got like a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> no, <laughs> but no. I, genuinely, this is like this is three weeks of not shaving. This is this is what it does to me. And I mean, it's why do you bother shaving at all? <laughs> well, it's. I was just going to say it, 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 it. It's not visible at all on camera. But it's it's way worse. Oh, if, do you just look like really rough <laughs> right now? No, it's not. It's not even that. It's not like I'm like, you know, I'm not. I'm not the the middle act of a movie where the the good guy's given up and he's like fuck this and he gets drunk and then three days later he's got like a grey stubbly bit. I'm not that. <laughs> I'm not that. I'm like a thirteen year old. I, I just have um, like p- patches, like little you know, wispy fucking, bits. Yeah, and and I mean I've got like like. 30 mustache hairs, right? <laughs> 30 sounds like, you know, a semi-significant amount. It's not in hair. <laughs> hair is small. But also, yeah. what's worse is it's split evenly, um, 15 on each side, you know, roughly. But the, there's none in the middle. So it's... Oh, it's, it's, it's like, like a reverse a, Hitler. Yeah. yeah I, I'm sure there's a name for it that's not reverse Hitler. But yeah, <laughs> it's it's really fucking terrible. And that's why that's why even though I can't ever grow a beard and I never will be able to because I'm the light beer equivalent of a man, <laughs> I, I, ha- I have to shave all the time because it's worse to have what I have. <laughs> so, you know, I can let myself go in that respect pretty good. So you're really suffering through it. Yeah. It's really yeah. affecting you bad. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, Jesus, I've just read that Coronation Street might go off the air. Because oh, they might that. they might run out of episodes to film, and it was, I was thinking it's it's funny because this has been like a such a humbling thing in a lot of ways for people probably because I think like, you just assume we, we'll carry on and like well it, it, when you think about like celebrities they just don't they're not they don't have to succumb to the regular things that that we have to deal with you know even when they go to jail if they if they oh they yeah they jail, don't go to jail. No. But well, they, they do for 30 days. But if they do, they get put in, like, you know, fucking private little things so no one rapes them twice because they're famous. <laughs> yeah. I, I did it the first time because you were in prison. This one's because you're famous, you know, uh, uh, apparently. I guess that's the thing. Like, Or maybe yeah, probably. you have more of, like, a bounty on your head. Like, oh, fuck. I would love to tell everyone that I fucking raped Mike Tyson. I don't know. What's the celebrity that's been in jail? I, I assume Mike Tyson. <laughs> I think Mike Tyson was probably quite safe in jail, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't even think about that, that. I don't know, man. I mean... Matthew Broderick. 
if Mike Tyson wasn't a boxer, he would get the shit kicked out of him all the time, right? The fucking... If he the, wasn't a boxer, it's like everything about him. The lisp, the face tattoo, the fucking... Right, yeah. The terrible temper. Yeah. That guy, would, that guy would get beaten up. In fact, I bet he got beaten up as a kid all the time, and that's why he became a fucking boxer. I bet that's what happened. Just figured it out. Mike Tyson figured it out. Worked it out. I just solved Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to call me there. I got very fucking angry about about all of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, celebrities have had to stay home the same as the rest of us, and that's weird. I mean, not 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 everyone. There's those people who are like self isolating on their yachts and stuff like that. Like that just doesn't. Yeah, happen. like I don't, I don't. Yeah, I don't care about those people. Or like in the mansions. Not even in a mansion. If you've got like a a house with more than two bedrooms, like fuck you, don't complain. <laughs> Well, I saw um, on DJ Khaled's Snapchat story that his, like, housekeeper or chef or, you know, I don't know if if it's one woman who does all of the jobs or if he has multiple staff. I'm sure he's got but, multiple staff. Have you seen the size of his house? Yeah, but there was someone on his Snapchat story who was, you know, uh, carrying his food to him or doing his fucking laundry, whatever it was that I saw in the background. His life barely changed. Yeah, and it's like... He's got like acres of land and a pool and shit. But is she? Does she have to lock down with him? Is that? Oh, yeah, of course, like, yeah. Like just like, well, you're here now, but I'm not fucking okay. paying you. I'm not paying you 24 hours a day. Oh, I don't know actually, because if she's just working there, she can probably go home afterwards. I'm not sure because if if she's just isolating at home oh. and at, at his house. She's not okay, coming well, into contact with more people than that, I, I guess. I, I don't know what I don't know what rules and laws and stuff are in place in, in other places, but if you were to look at it the way it would be in the UK, that is not essential, essential. work. Essential. No, that's true. So maybe she is living there. But I imagine someone... I wouldn't mind not getting paid to spend the night in DJ Carlet's house. It's a fucking mansion. Yeah, but I doubt very much he's just like all right, yeah, clock off at five, then, you know, free run of the house, do what you want, come, just let's watch a movie. I bet he's, like, <laughs> fucking in your quarters, you know, getting... <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, true. Remember what he said about his wife? He definitely does that. Well, because he doesn't eat her out. Yeah. He's not a man of the people. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care about the little man or women. The little man or woman? Is that what she calls her vagina? The little woman? <laughs> 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 um, I, was, I was just just before we started this just reading something about and I'm sure that everyone in the world has fucking read it because once I see it then like with, with news stories especially celebrity news stories once I see something everyone's seen it because I don't really pay attention Yeah, I'm just reading something about something The Rock said about the moment that humbled him or made him <clears throat> made him realise how he should behave as a famous person or whatever and uh, he was telling a story about some people coming over to him in a restaurant and asking if they could get a picture or get an autograph, whatever it was. And he said, like, he was a dick to them about it. Like, he said yes, but he said it in a way that would make them feel bad, where he, was, bad, like, yeah. where he was like, oh, yeah, sure, why don't you sit down with us or something like that. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then they instantly, like, were like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know. And then she said to her husband, like, I just told you we shouldn't have come over and disturbed him, whatever, and then he felt guilty. And he says, like, you know, and uh, immediately I felt bad, and that's how I, I, you know, I had to reassure them, like, no, it's fine, you know, come on, sit down, let's get a picture. And then, so, you know, I signed their menus, and, and they went away. And I that I halted in my tracks at that point. He signed their menus. They're, yeah, that's not theirs to keep. That, they, <laughs> that doesn't belong to you. <laughs> you don't get to take that home with you at the end of the fucking, like, you don't get to say to the waiter, like, ah, yeah, I'm going to keep this. That's mine now. <laughs> I, I, the, rock, the rock signed this, so that's mine. Unless it was one of those, like, kiddie menus that they gave that, like, he'll got colour in sheets on. <laughs> and I'm sure it was, because it was... Like, <laughs> but he said, like, the wife saying to her husband, and I'm thinking, so already I know they're grown adults approaching <laughs> a wrestler while he's eating a meal in a Aww. restaurant. Yeah, but come on. That's exciting. If I saw The Rock... I mean, I'd feel like a dick and I'd hesitate, but I'd definitely go over. I don't think I would do it if he was sat eating a meal. Also, he's a movie star more than a wrestler. So... No, this no, this was oh, well, 20 years ago or whatever. Well, yeah, what I was just going to say, funny you should mention mm. that story about The Rock, because I don't know what brought this to my mind yesterday, but I was thinking about, I think this was the first celebrity I ever met. Um, 
do you remember a band from say like the early 2000s called Rooster? Ring the bell. Definitely. They were like, they were like a kind of, I don't know how to describe them other than just like kind of pop, popular rock. They were like quite easy listening, but like, you know, I think they had a couple of like okay-ish hits. Anyway. <laughs> and you met those guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, me and, me and my brother were walking around Liverpool City Centre and we saw two of the guys from the band. We were like, oh my God, that's the guys from that new band. Are and, they from uh, Liverpool? No, no. I'm not sure where they're from, but they were on tour at the time. I think they played Liverpool the night before, but we didn't know. Um, I mean, I was only about like 13 or something. And um, so we we went up to say hi and they were like, they were nice. Like, I don't think they were really excited to be recognised actually, but maybe they were just trying to play it cool. But um, we were like, oh, we've got nothing for you to sign. And they were like, oh no, I'm sorry. And then... Um, so, in like our desperation to get a famous person's autograph, we um, tried to get in touch with my dad, who was in town at the time, called him to come and meet us. I mean, they'd walked away by this point, but we were like, oh, we'll stay in the vicinity. And uh, <laughs> like, really, like, frantically asked me dad if he had uh, any paper on him. And all he had were uh, betting slips, you know. <laughs> <and eight. laughs> of course. <laughs> Do they still even exist? Is everything like digital now? I'm not sure I've ever been in a betting shop. I don't think. Uh, so we ran around and eventually <laughs> caught up with these two non-famous guys again <laughs> and um, got them to sign this betting <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, with like one of those little plastic betting shop pens. <laughs> and then they like talked us into buying tickets for their show the next night which is in Manchester and we like begged to go to it for <laughs> some reason just because we were all like you know on this high of meeting these yeah. people we considered famous and I mean it was an alright gig from what I remember we <laughs> we only knew like two of the songs but you know <laughs> I, w- I wonder yeah, so what like you know <laughs> you know in the 90s and and early 2000s and obviously everything prior to that as well um, yeah people didn't have like camera phones so when oh, yeah, yeah. if you bumped into a famous person all you could do was get their signature yeah and, unless you for some reason had a disposable camera on you yeah well i mean you know not, i was never one of those people but if you people just have to like take your word for it yeah yeah <laughs> oh i just saw this guy you know prove it <laughs> Prove it. Anyone could write something on a piece of paper. Yeah, that too. Anyone could write something on a bed and slip. And even if you see someone's autograph, it's like, well, how do I know that's their autograph? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm going to have to see their checkbook. Otherwise, I'm not going to know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and even now, man, like, Photoshop is so good. You could that's just... true. But... Did you see that um, article about the girl who convinced her friends and family she'd gone to Disneyland? But actually, uh, she just... Did she just quit? Instagram or something. I, I didn't. Click uh, I don't know. Probably. I saw. I mean, I think she like, did it like as a joke, but I'm not sure. There's this. It, there's this thing that I go through all the time where I'm like, I'll open the, I'll open Snapchat and the Snapchat like news. Um, I hate is, that. There was air quotes for anyone who's not <laughs> watching this. Um, it's like I'll read the headline, and I'll see it like, and I, I mean, right now especially, I'm going on it. 50 times a day there's nothing on there I only have like 10 people on Snapchat I'm not there's, <laughs> yeah. there's nothing on there to see right I read the headlines and it's only after you know after like 45 times of seeing the headline and thinking I don't give a fuck about that I'm not clicking that that I start to think like I mean what else have I got to do maybe <laughs> you know and then you know by by the 50th time that I'm seeing it I'm like all right you got me fine what what did she put why did she quit Instagram you know I, I need to know right, why this yeah. person who I don't know you know um so yeah so i've seen the headline i've not yet got to the point where i'm going to click on it but maybe after this uh I'll, <laughs> I'll read that story but if you meet a famous person or if you met a famous person back then and you you wanted to get their autograph i don't carry paper around on me or a pen like yeah how, what, i wonder i wonder what the weirdest you, thing is that people got asked because i'm trying to think about what it, i'm sure that it, still happens though as well yeah, probably. But, but less like in, because of the photo aspect. Exactly. Yeah. But in a time before you had phones and stuff, what 
what were people carrying around at all times? What was something that you Napkins. had in your purse? I don't fucking well, know. I, yeah, but I yeah, oh, they're, they're a phone booth or a dress booth. How many people have signed a sanitary towel? That's what I want to know. Ooh. There's got to be a dozen. Yeah, I bet you there's a few. I found out from Adria um, that... Hi, Adria. Oh, Loki. <laughs> Sorry, that that was unprofessional, but um, uh, maybe Loki got excited and thought AJ is in the room when I said that, and he pulled my headphones out. <laughs> <laughs> I found out from Adria that uh, Mr. Bean did hit it big in America. In no the, way! In the, in the 90s when Mr. Right. Bean's show was, was, was on. But I guess they didn't have, like, I think he's like a 90s thing, a 90s right. symbolic 90s thing, right? But I, So I guess they didn't have... Like the movies, the animated series, and the two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when when you when you when you think about it, there was a lot of Mr. Bean content. Yeah, like, like he he ran that one joke for <laughs> twenty years, <laughs> and the joke yes. the joke was, "I'm a little bit stupid and I can't talk." That was the joke. In the in the movies, he does talk a little bit, but not much. He got twenty. Actually, the first film was fucking funny. Isn't Rick Moranis in it? He got 20 years out of that, and we... <laughs> we Lapped it up. <laughs> no, I was, I was talking about me and you right now. We are uh, working our asses off to make a podcast that we can't get anyone to listen to. Well, you're working your ass off. I just do nothing, but... Well... <laughs> Maybe we should do that. I'm glad you both... said it. <laughs> Maybe we should both pretend that we're stupid. I don't think anyone wants to listen to a podcast where you can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bean would never have a podcast. That's why. No. That's why Rowan Atkinson said he was retiring the character because he knew this was the <laughs> big. This was the biggest yeah, media format now, and he's like, yeah. "Well, I can't do that. What am I going to do?" Yeah, you're probably right. I fucking hate Mr. Bean so much, man. I, I, it makes me mad. So mad. Do you remember Matt Lucas did? something similar a few years ago like no but i don't like matt lucas when he decided like oh maybe i should stop making racist comedy then he was like oh i'm gonna do this like family friendly thing and it was family friendly because there was no fucking talking in it <laughs> no it. what was that oh i can't remember it was it was like it was basically it was mr bean but right it was called pompadour right it, Wikipedia describes it as an experimental British television comedy series. Not that experimental, really. Mr. Bean done it 15 years by this point and <laughs> gone, well, this format works. And then Matt Lucas went, all right, I'll do that then. In fact, yeah. he says, I've not read it all, but it says Mr. Bean there. I can see it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Pompadour is the first all visual, i.e. having no meaningful dialogue, half-hour mainstream TV sitcom since Bradley in the late 1980s. And then brackets... Or um, what do Americans call brackets? Parentheses. Parentheses. Although there have been several visual comedies broadcast in the interim, none of them were half-hour sitcoms. Mr. Bean usually consisted of two or three sketches. That's that's quite a fucking accolade, isn't it? <laughs> the first all-visual sitcom since the 80s that was half an hour long and wasn't split into three sketches. Man, oh, they should shit. win an award for that. Half Jesus. an hour? Half I kind hour. of wanna kinda of wanna see it, but also oh, I don't God, it was, I watched I think I watched five minutes of it and I was like, oh right, that's the joke, I get it. Switch over. Fuck this. I see. I'm close this Wikipedia tab now. I don't need this ever again in my life. <laughs> <laughs> no desire to ever talk about Pompadour ever again. <laughs> oh, this is just making me want to get drunk. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Well, I've had almost one portion of Prosecco, so I'm not quite... Have you have you got more stuff to drink after it, or is that, like, your, your lot? Oh, no, I've got some from last week. Um, because, yeah, like we were saying last week, I haven't really drank much during this whole thing. I know, I think alcohol sales in general have had a bit of a boom, haven't they? But, Nothing else to do, is there? But I, I've, because I've not been leaving the house and I've been getting online deliveries, at, like I said, I think I said this last time, I have having a hard time getting hold of beer because um, they uh, generally, generally didn't have what I drink. It's because I'm fussy, though, but they, they just, it would sell out so fast. I, the online deliveries in general, the ones I was doing through Amazon have been quite 
not ideal, basically. I was going to say difficult, but you know, fucking hell, it's, there's real difficulties in the world, isn't there? You know, <laughs> it's not difficult, but like for for example, if I want to buy onions, right now, I don't, uh, I don't really buy onions. I buy red onions, right, <laughs> to put on burgers and stuff. If I want to buy red onions, the only option is a bag of eight, eight red onions. I live alone. Mm-hmm. On- onions go off in a week. Right? Do you know how many onions yeah. I would have to eat a day to eat them before they go off? It's one and an eighth onions. <laughs> one and yeah. one eighth onions. Do you know? Do you know the the fraction of an onion that you actually have to use for like one, in a meal? one person's serving of onion? What it's, is it? It's about an eighth. <laughs> so I've, then so I've you've got eaten a, eight times that amount. Then I've got a whole eight. onion that I've got to like. After after I use my eighth to make the meal, then I'm like, right, better just eat this like Shrek then. I don't think you can freeze onions either, can you? Or can you? I have no idea, but I'm... Well, I'll... that kind of thing, like, you know, it is hard for single people or even just two people because... No, I'm not single. You only have so much... How dare you? I mean, I mean, like, single household. Like, yes, yeah, yeah. You only have so much freezer space, so, you know... It's all well and good m- buying something in bulk and making a big batch of it and freezing it, but then what? Do you just have to live off that one meal for like yeah. two weeks well, till this... you can fit another one in the freezer. See, when I when I first moved in here and I was like, right, you know, uh, it's a fresh start to my life. I'm going to be an adult, you know. I was like, right, but well, this is what people do: they freeze the food that they make and then they they reuse it. So I made um, pasta bolognese and I froze the bolognese. Nice. And I'm like, well, now I have a portion of bolognese in somewhere in the in the, in the freezer when, whenever I want. And uh, you know what happened? Mm-hmm. Stayed in there about two and a half years. Got freezer burned, threw it away, threw the through the <laughs> through the Tupperware away, and everything. Just like fucking, I'm not dealing with that. Uh, it was, you know, that's 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 what my life is like. I was never going to be an adult because I do things like that. Yeah. And I, I, I <laughs> this fucking isolation thing, right? I've. I've needed to defrost the freezer for months, but tackling every piece of frozen food in the house is is quite a feat because it does rely on you to eat whatever is there and not have a choice of what you eat. And mm-hmm. we're not used to that anymore. You know, I have a choice every day of what I eat. So I've, ju- I've taken this time to like eat everything in the freezer. We, I think I, t- I talked about this last time that we had Christmas at my house. So I've been eating sprouts every day, right? <laughs> And I'm down to the <laughs> down to the point now where in my freezer is half a bag of ice cubes and about fifteen sprouts, but nothing to cook them with, just <laughs> sprouts. When 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 am I going to eat just sprouts? What am I going to yeah. do? <laughs> so, but I don't want to buy any more frozen food because it's like, well, yeah, it's defeating the object. So at some point, yeah. I'm going to have to have like some really cold drinks and some sprouts. <laughs> that's that's my choice. Well, what is the phrase? Shut up and put up. I'm not sure. You'll, you'll just have to deal with it. That was like, I don't know. No, I, I, to... <clears throat> I love to uh, say phrases, but I don't like when other people say them. Yeah. When other people say them, I'm like, that's so contrived. You're a fucking idiot. Did you just hear <laughs> that last week and you just wanted to regurgitate it? <laughs> but when I say phrases, I'm like, I'm wise. I'm a wise. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I'm basically Confucius. <laughs> <laughs> well, one that one that one that really fucking frustrates me, and I never say this is not one that I I actually say. But when people say, "Oh, I have a lot of time for them," oh, I, Sid says that all the time. I I hate that phrase because it, because it, it it suggests that your time is some kind of commodity, some precious commodity. <laughs> is, but, is, I I don't want your time. <laughs> oh, I have a lot of time. You don't. For... Oh, you have a lot of time for me? Fucking go and spend your time somewhere else. I don't need you. I don't need you to listen to me. I'll talk to myself. <laughs> I'm, I will sit I... here and talk to myself all fucking day. I don't need you. I think I I'm think hilarious you're... on my own. I will I will I will tell jokes into this echo chamber of my isolation house and I'll be like, Yeah, that was a fucking good one. I just thought of that and it was fucking funny and I'm you know, I don't need to share that. I but think then... you're taking what is supposed to be uh compliment as an insult for some reason correct correct because i think that it's not a compliment it's a way of saying like yeah i'm really important and i even i spend my time (laughs) thinking about you yeah like like well you know i mean even even my precious time 
you're even worth that. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. Especially right now in this you know current climate where everyone all they have is time. Uh, yeah, that means nothing really. I, I have a lot of time for them. You have a lot of time for everything. I have, <laughs> I have, I have a lot of time for them. That's right, because you've been in cross stitch for fucking seventeen days. You have a lot of oh. time. Oh, I'm sorry. That- you, do, you do cross stitch, don't you? <laughs> no Our personal this- attack. No, no, and genuinely, anyone who's listening to this cross stitch, I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about anyone. I'm talking no, about I know. I was just kidding. Did, did you see that Amazon sold out of cross stitch equipment? No, I did not, but fuck because, that, because I'm trying to sell my uh, way. But, like, the, 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 it's because people are so, like, narrow-minded that when they thought, oh, but I best get a hobby, I'll just get the one that I saw Frida post about on Facebook the other day. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, how did they sell out of one hobby? Like, that's the yeah. hobby that's, that's the isolation hobby. That's what I well, thought. because it's because it's something you can do on your own, and it takes ages. <laughs> That's probably why. But but also, it's something that they teach eleven year olds in school, so it's anyone can do it. <laughs> that's yeah, that's, that's the fact. true. And and I know that you crossed it. So that was a targeted insult. Believe me. But... <laughs> I was just going to say, I wonder how many unfinished cross stitches there's going to be at the end of this, because, yeah, it's easy, and yeah, everyone can do it, but no one can be fucking bothered. <laughs> That's... Like with many things, you know, people are like, oh, I can make that myself for free. But you're not going to. Yeah. <laughs> You've got all the time in the world right now, and I bet you <coughs> 90% of those cross stitches go unfinished. And not not even unfinished, just like you do like like you'll do template you'll, one in your book of fucking cross stitch ideas and you'll be like, Alright, I'm really getting the hang of this and you'll just never do it again. Yeah. You'll be yeah, like, Well, well I, I, I mean I mastered that last week, so <laughs> I'm not gonna do that again, am I? You know, really time for the next that. time for the next hobby. Yeah, yeah, you're just like, Well, knock that one out of the park, let's move on. I'm gonna learn the piano, fucking C, done it. Fucking there you go. No one can challenge me. <laughs> I wonder what other hobbies people are getting up to at this time. Yeah, what, what are people? Because like I'm, I'm, I, you, you know, I'm sure plenty of people have seen. I'm posting, I'm posting, I'm posting cover songs on YouTube, which is something that thousands of people worldwide are doing. So I'm like, right, well, there's so much content. I'm not expecting anyone to listen. I'm just doing it because it's something to do. And in my head, I'm like, you know, well. Well, yeah, I'll do this, and people will listen and enjoy it, or whatever. I know they won't. If I actually think about it, they won't. Nobody's going to be bothered. But it's something to do. But a lot of people aren't musicians, or they, you know, they don't make music. So if you're learning to play an instrument, or you know, you're practicing writing music or whatever, then you're filling your time with that, even if you're not posting stuff. But people who don't do that, I don't know what they're doing because I don't like that's my thing. So I don't know what other people's things are. I don't know, and I think a lot of people are having a hard time because not having any structure is bad for your mental health and whatnot. So it's bad for your just positivity in general, isn't it? So I think a lot of people aren't doing anything, which uh, I respect that. I mean, you say not doing anything, but like... It I depends. mean, they're just it, fucking sitting there watching telly all day and whatever. Yeah, but I was just going to say, it depends what you consider doing something, because I feel accomplished if I finish a TV show. I'm mm-hmm. like, right, fucking did that. I can tell people I've watched that now. That's yeah, what I, true. I, gen, genuinely, I, I, because I pride myself on getting references. So, like, if you make <laughs> a joke about a fucking show, like, oh, that's this just like this, I'll be like, yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I get that joke, you know? I'll comment on your status, like I so. Get you it. just don't want to be left out. That's what it is. Yeah, it's FOMO. It's all FOMO. Yeah. Um, no, but I, 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 I like to have seen things and, and experienced things. I think if you're absorbing something, you, you learn in, or you know, even if it's yeah, even just being content. entertained by something that someone's created, yeah. which is nice. Yeah, you, you, you have now received and absorbed something that you didn't fucking know before. So yeah, I mean. I know a lot of people uh, playing, completing video games. I think that's fucking dumb, but they don't. And they're like, yes, I fucking did this. I, you know, finally finished Tomb Raider. I don't know what games people play. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but my first thought was Candy Crush. <laughs> 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 video games. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, finish Candy Crush. But you can't finish that. Isn't there like a billion levels? No, you can actually finish it, but I think they add new levels all the time, so... But yeah, you finish, and then they're like, Update, bitch! Ha! I'm like, psych! <laughs> you, <laughs> you thought you were done with this. Pay us more money. Ha! Um, yeah, but I mean, I don't give a shit about completing video games, but those people feel accomplished for having done it, because that's the thing that they enjoy. And that's why I don't care. It's not because I'm like, Oh, you fucking nerd, you play video games? I mean, I am. You know, I'll say that, but really, deep down, it's because I don't really care about video games. That's why I think that if you do it, you're a loser. Same as anything else in the fucking world. If you do it, I'm like, well, I don't do that, so you must be a fucking nerd. Oh, yeah, like, the references. Like, if I didn't get a reference, I'm like, wow, that seems dumb. That's the stupidest <laughs> thing I've ever heard. If I haven't seen the show, it's because it sucks. That's why, I didn't, that's why I didn't watch it. I'm too yeah. smart to have watched that show. I won't waste my fucking time watching that show. <laughs> what are you referencing, RuPaul? I don't... Come on. I don't ever watch RuPaul. I don't... I've have never seen that show. I don't know. If, I don't even know what I'm insulting. Well, I watched insulting. the first episode of the English one, and that was the first one I ever saw, and it was all right. But um, Drew Paul wasn't really even in it, so I was like, he was, but like not really. So I was just like, oh, I don't get it. But is that is, um, that, because, is that because it was the English version? I don't even know what. How do you make an English version? It's just drag drag queens from England. Oh yeah, I just filmed in England. Yeah, it's just <clears throat> right. yeah. But um, it's like. It's like it's like American Idol UK. <laughs> it's but you know not that. Well, yeah, but I mean, Pop Idol came before American Idol. No, it? I know we we invented all those things, which is crazy, isn't it? Which sucks. Yeah, it is crazy because that seems like an American concept to me. <laughs> what? Parade... I'm not going to elaborate on that. <laughs> Parading people with no talent in front of a TV camera to say, "Please present the talent you don't have." Yeah, yeah exactly. Seems... Seems like seems like something Americans would do. Bullies, bully, bullies. That's what they are. <laughs> Apparently, there's a new um, series of Britain's Got Talent on right now, which is kind of, oh. you know, exact same format except it can be anything. Doesn't have to oh, be singing. No, but wait, isn't the isn't the prize for Britain's Got Talent that you get to perform at the Royal Variety Performance? Yeah. Which <laughs> it, 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 yeah, I don't know how we'll explain that for American listeners. It, it's it, it's a shit. <laughs> What the fuck is it's the like Royal a TV Bra- show that no one watches? No, for no the reason the Queen is there. It's it's a it's a live show that's put on for the royal family. And, that's fucking bizarre, though, isn't it? And but it's it's the reason it's called a variety performance is because they have They're everything: all acts. singers, yeah. gymnasts, dancers, puppeteers, tricks. <laughs> yeah, but so they have like just fucking weird shit on there sometimes. So. I mean, and I'm it, guessing I've never actually watched it. <laughs> and it's very, like, traditionally British. And then afterwards, the Queen yeah, goes and probably shit. Been, I bet you Mr Bean has been on it. <laughs> oh, sure. A billion times. <laughs> the, 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 then the Queen goes and shakes the hand of each person and meets them and all that. I don't I don't really know. It's very English. Um, Americans would love that. But that's surely not going to go ahead this year. So what oh, if there's... No. Oh yeah, if, maybe they'll do it next. I don't know. Actually. And how are they going to? They'd already, the... they'd already filmed all the auditions and stuff. I guess. Yeah, all the, yeah, all the auditions. But then what? How are they going to do the live shows? I don't understand. Anyway, there's also America's Got Talent. Is that what do you win for that? Because you can't perform. I mean, I suppose you could perform the Royal Variety performance, but you wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> you wouldn't uh, give a they shit probably, about they, they probably would. But um, that's what, yeah, that's was... like that's <laughs> that's like. You know, you you win a fucking contest here, and they go, "You're gonna headline the House of Blues, Detroit," and you're like, "I don't oh, know they what that is. I don't give a shit about that." In America, they get a cash prize, which seems a lot better. <laughs> it's a better deal. I I think you also get a cash prize for us, so you get cash and you get. Uh, some... Didn't um, didn't a dog win it a couple of times in England? Oh, that's people fucking. It's Simon Cowell loves dogs. That's why. But oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I why. I mean, people... I think. I think Loki would win it. You can't even get Loki to stop just pissing on things that he doesn't know. That's you. There's no way that Loki he doesn't know. Yeah, anything that's new in the flat, he's just like best piss on this. You just. Oh, uh, are you saying because I said that about the TV? <laughs> no, I've seen him piss on things. Is it plastic bags? Yes. How did yeah. he do that? Does he do that? <laughs> it's only plastic bags that he does it to. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, weird thing about pets and plastic bags because my housemate's ex-housemate's cat used to chew plastic bags. 
and Loki pisses on them. I don't know why. <laughs> Even if he sees one in the streets, it's not just like he pisses in the house all the time. He just pisses on plastic bags. Like, I don't understand. So you've just got to not leave them lying around. Again, I just wish we understood animals. Just like, yeah. hook, a, hook a machine up and go, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He's <laughs> probably like, this fucking stinks. Let me improve it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? I bet it's because there's nothing natural in them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. Let me just send that. <laughs> it's like, as far as he's concerned, that's like if we were stood next to a black hole. Just like, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't blame him, actually. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. I, um, after we recorded this last time, I had no choice but to just get drunk afterwards because what you know, yeah, once I've had, once I've had like five beers, what am I going to do for the rest of the fucking night? There's nothing. I else. I can't remember what I did after last time. But I've, I've, what I've found is that if I get drunk on a night out, it's like whenever the night out is done, whenever someone you know either it's like fucking hell. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I've got to get home and fall asleep at the table, or. Mm-hmm. Or it's last orders in every bar for a fucking quarter mile, and there's no way I'm walking further than that. <laughs> quarter or, mile. Yeah, fuck off. Like you would walk half a mile pissed. No way. Anyway, it, it, whatever the whatever the cutoff of the night is, that's when I'm like, oh my god, I'm fucking so hungry. I need a kebab right now. Uh, right? But if I'm at home, <laughs> it's like four beers in, I'm like, I best eat seven bags of crisps right now. <laughs> like yeah. I'm just so hungry all the fucking time. You know, it, it, fucking stoners get the munchies, and I don't know if it's mm. I don't do I don't do drugs, so I don't know if if in real life it's like it is in shit American TV it, it, movies. Like Harold and Kumar, is that is any of that accurate? Is that what stoners are really like? Because I've never I I've got friends who smoke weed all the time, and none of them are like that. So what, yeah. <laughs> what's the is that just a trope? I think it's a bit of both, maybe. But well, none of your friends are American or from what? When is that from? Like the ninety? No, I know, but like, I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, no one's ever been like, I'm not going to sleep tonight unless I eat KFC. You know, it's just they just eat. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. I think I think weed gets a rap about that kind of thing, and like, I see this quite a lot on Twitter. People are like, I'm so high, I just did this, and I'm like. I don't think that's got anything to do with you being high. You just did something. Like, I, I think people, like, attribute things that they're doing to that a lot more to be like, oh. <laughs> I, I think maybe... May, am I not articulating this very well? May, but... may, maybe it's like that you're more aware of yourself mm. or something. You know, like, you're more you're more present in the moment or whatever, and so you're like... Wow, isn't it weird that I'm talking to you guys right now? Or some, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it's like. But when I saw earlier today, that made me think like <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Oh yeah, it was just something like, oh, I'm so high. I just wondered if dogs dream all the time, or if it's just sometimes. Uh, like, I was just like, I don't. Just... I don't think. Sorry, people... I'm. And so, under the influence of drugs, I just had a regular boring thought. I don't think those people are even high. I think that's just no, a fucking, it's just a tweet format. Yeah. It's oh. just it's just that thing because if you just if you just said, oh, I wonder if dogs, whatever you just said, if you just said that, wouldn't get any retweets. But if you go, oh, I'm so high that I just thought this for some reason, everyone goes, oh. Like, yeah, I hate it. Uh, um, Make a it's the same thing as that I posted something the other day, something that frustrates the shit on me when, when people go, Oh, someone really said No oh, you, yeah. you you said that, you just wanted to get the retweet, so you act like it was someone else. Oh man, I don't get it. And people buy into it, it gets fucking hundred and fifty thousand retweets. Anyway, I, you this is fucking I'm triggered. I don't, I don't. <laughs> I don't want you to go into a rant about Twitter. No, I don't want to. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't but anyway, the, po- <laughs> the point is, if like I, I get that hungry when I'm drunk, if the munchies is a real thing, holy shit! How do those people like? What? <laughs> like I? Yeah. I, how come they're not like all stoners? Aren't like really fat? I, and also, 
I, it, when I'm drunk, I could eat so much fucking food. Like, it's, it's, like, it's not normal. No, yeah, you can eat, like, your stomach is expanded. Like, it, you don't ever feel full when you're drunk, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Some people I'm, are the opposite, though. Some people are like, oh, um, I can't eat when I've had a drink. Like, I, I'm, I don't understand that. <clears throat> I don't like to eat while I'm drinking. As soon as I'm done drinking, that's when I'm like, eat all the food. Oh, and no. It, and, I, I and the, the only thing that will stop... Yeah, see, we're different about that. I, I absolutely... If I start drinking, I'm like, right, I'm not eating now. That's I why... I go to a, an all-you-can-eat when drunk and then be like, okay, let's carry on. <laughs> that's why when I'm... When I'm drinking... That's why I've got to be so careful about eating first and stuff because uh, yeah, because then you know if, you're not gonna eat for the rest of the night. If I have a beer, I don't want to eat. It makes me feel weird. I don't like it. But once I've had 15 beers and someone says, "Right, go home," I'm like, "Well, not until I've eaten the Eiffel Tower because I." <laughs> yeah, I, I like ah! the only thing that will stop me eating once I'm drunk is falling asleep. I fall asleep in food way more often than you would think. Way oh, more often, I've seen it. Oh, totally. But way more often than, than I would imagine anyone else does. And we've already talked about how I'll fall asleep with food in my mouth. But like, I mean, yeah, like, like things... within your like mid bite in your hand, and then you take a bite, and then you, yeah, before you even swallowed it. <laughs> yeah, but, and and I, I I think I attribute that to never wanting the night to end. So I'm just like I'm yeah. gonna go. I'm gonna go till physically I cannot go anymore. I'm never, yeah. I'm, I'm never the person who says, "Oh, maybe we should." Let's you know, call it a night. <laughs> call it, yeah, I've never, I've never called anything. <laughs> I've never, <laughs> I've never called time on any. Nothing, <laughs> nothing has ever gone too far for me. I'm just like, well, this should carry on. If I see a fight in the street, I'm just like, all right, let's see where this goes. You know, <laughs> like, I'm, ne- I'm never like, oh, come on, come on. You know, I'm not that guy. I am not that guy. Yeah, me. One of my friends is like that. If she <laughs> ever sees anything going down, she's like, "Oh my god, let's pretend that we have to stand here so we can watch." If, if anything, I'm a pick a side guy. I'm like, yeah, "Yeah, fucking yeah, this guy in the green is right." You know, I don't know either of them. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like, yeah, I saw him do the thing. Whatever you're mad about, that I saw him do it as well. What? The, what the fuck? You know, <laughs> that's totally me. Um, I'm think. I'm just thinking. We've been on. We've been on like like an hour. Um, really, we haven't said anything. <clears throat> yeah, should we make? We this... talked about this quarantine. <laughs> should we just make this like two parts? I'll do like one or one on a Tuesday, one on a Thursday, something like that. Yeah, can do bonus. Right, right. exactly. Bonus. <laughs> you earned more of us talking shit. Bonus. <laughs> you just <laughs> you just unlocked a bonus level of us talking shit. It's um, like hanging out with your friends, but you can't speak to us or interact in any way. <laughs> and we're not your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh. Uh, I mean, I assume. I don't know who's listening to you, this. I guess we would like to thank our patrons. <laughs> we would. <laughs> We'd like to thank our patrons, Adria Bowman and Jared. I didn't forget their names. I was thinking, what order do I say words in now? Ad- oh, yeah. <laughs> say it in like, alphabetical. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even mean the order of the names. I just meant words oh. in general. What order do words come out of my mouth is what I was thinking. Uh, um, that just depends. I'd like to thank our patrons, Adrian Bowman and Jared Spear, um, for their constant support throughout. <laughs> See, Loki did thank the patrons throughout, throughout this. Boy. All of this garbage, and I don't mean the pandemic, I mean our podcast. Ah, um, I thought you meant the pandemic for a minute. No, you see, I twisted it, you see. Came back it. at you. Um, <laughs> it's fucking great. It was a good one. Um, we can't make this happen if no one listens. Thanks for listening to this garbage. Um, thankfully, you get more bonus. <laughs> you get more. Uh, wow. The thing no one asked for. <laughs> That's right. We did it. <laughs> You're welcome. No one, no one has ever listened to our podcast and commented and said, man, I wish this was longer. <laughs> <laughs> But here we are. Um, genuinely, thank you for listening to this, especially during this time where you have, you have to fill You've your probably time. Probably got loads of important cross stitches to do. No, no, I mean, genuinely, I know you have to fill your time, but you have to fill your time with anything. And a million people just started a podcast, you know. I'm not, I'm not, that's oh, probably... really, did they? Wow, that was our thing. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> How dare you? We were doing a podcast. No, but, but I mean, like the 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 figures. I saw someone from from Bus, but our, um, where we host our podcast, Buzzsprout. I saw someone from Buzzsprout saying that the the figures have like ramped right the fuck up. Yeah. Like of of like people signing up to their site, man. It's it's crazy. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you do have to fill your time, but you could choose a million things to fill your time with. So thank you for listening. Um, This has been episode 33, part one, I guess. Um, Please please follow us on all social media at AHYDDPod. Um, We we try and post things that aren't just, here's the link to the newest episode. I'm pretty shit at Instagram, so Sophie usually handles a lot of that stuff. Um, Email us ahyddpod at gmail.com let us know what you want to hear about let us know what you want to talk about let us know if you have a hangover cure um oh yeah that's a big one actually no one's done that for a while and we we need it <laughs> yeah we haven't heard we need a hangover before. cure so we can carry on drinking the next day okay. guys please it's fucking true um <laughs> oh please also just tell us what you've been drinking during quarantine mm. Yeah, I would like to know how are you sourcing your beer? Do you go out and get it? Do you have it delivered to your house? Is there are like you just a... picking up like reduced bottles of prosecco like I did? Uh... Are you drinking the Valentine's Day special? <laughs> uh, uh, leave us a review on iTunes. I was just looking the other day. We haven't had a review in so long. Leave us a review oh, yeah, on please iTunes. Please leave a review. Review. It's it's. I just like reading them. It, 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 I don't even care what else it does for the podcast. I just like to read them because I'm like, oh yeah, I am. I am funny. You're right. <laughs> you know, I, I just like people complimenting me. And if you you've been cri- you've been funny this episode, I haven't. Said well, thanks, if you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna criticize us, that's okay too. You know, just leave us a review because I like to read the criticism too because you know I like to really dwell on it. Um, <laughs> it gives me something to do. I like <laughs> to give Daniel shit about it, the things that he's done wrong. <laughs> I know you're not going to criticise anything I've done or so. Well, so Sophie exclusively reads reviews to tell me what, what I've done wrong like well King King 2712 said this on iTunes about you you dick and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like man oh, she's right and he's right but they're right fuck you Jared Spear yeah fuck you dude okay thanks guys thanks for listening bye 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 are they still drunk? Are they hungover? Sophie and Daniel, definitely not sober. Thank you for listening to the Hangover You Don't Deserve podcast.